Well, hey gang, so I wanted to give it a quick update. I just did a video on these uh, single 100 watt uh, shade stopper panels. I got a second panel because I wanted to hook them up to create a 200 watt array and see if they are more efficient than a single 200 watt panel because these things, that one panel did absolutely fantastic for its rated output of 100 watts. I was getting close to 80, 85, 90 watts on some pretty not great conditions, but I do have two of these hooked up now. They are hooked up in series and we've got quite a bit of, of hazy clouds right now. But with those hooked up, with that condition right now, Let's see what we're pulling in terms of wattage. Okay, so right now it's not that great. It's 135 watts, but I'm gonna wait and come back when some of these clouds go away to see what we can get out of these two 100 watt panels hooked together in series and compare it to my all powers single 200 watt panel. So in terms of how much voltage this thing's putting out, let me go get my multimeter and we'll see what we're getting. All right, so I got my meter hooked in directly to the XT60 port, and this is giving us right now 45.45 volts. Close enough, let's say 45 and a half volts coming off of those two 100 watt panels. Now I'll show you, let me show you how I have these hooked up. So this came with my Blue Eddy. It's an XT60 to MC4. And on the back of these panels, I just have one of the leads coming out from one side. Then I've got the other lead coming out from the other. I've got the adapters that come with these panels. And I've got one of the negatives hooked together, one of the positives hooked together. And then on the cable that came with my Blue Eddy, I just hooked up the two ends that were left, the negative and the positive. So these are hooked in series. Coming around to my XT60. Let's get this thing plugged in. Yeah, those clouds need to go away. So I'm gonna come back and check when those clouds are completely passed because I'm thinking that I'm gonna be able to get around 160 to 180 watts off of these two 100 watt panels, but I gotta give them a fair shake, let those clouds get away. Well, we're still hovering around 145, 150 watts. We still got quite a bit, let me show you, we still got quite a bit of haze up there in the sky. But this made me realize, and I wasn't even thinking about it, these are shade stopper panels, so these should be more efficient when the conditions aren't that great. So I'm gonna hook up my other 200 watt panel here and see what kind of output we're getting off of that versus these two 100 watt panels. So here we got my 200 watt panel hooked up. Let's get it to recognize. Okay. I'm a little bit surprised. I'm getting 190 watts off of that all powers 200 watt panel. It's getting around 150 off of those two 100 watt shade stopper panels. I didn't think I would get as much off of this all powers. Let me hook up the two shade stopper panels because maybe we got some clouds that are clearing up, but it's hard to get this thing exactly fair with all these, uh, the clouds up above us, but we're still about 182 watts. There we go. So almost about 160 watts off of those two panels. And again, with the clouds kind of being spotty, it's hard to get the exact readings, but I'll tell you what, folks, I'm still really impressed with these shade stopper panels. 98 bucks a piece still on their website as of February the 26th, 2024. 
that all powers 200 watt panel was around $350. So the price difference is kind of of a no brainer. Um, now you do have to carry two panels and you do have to carry a little bit more wiring to hook those two up together. However, I still think it might be a better deal. Um, even though I'm not showing as much of an, of an output on those two panels, but I'm still honestly pretty impressed. 160 watts. Well, of course it went down to 156 as soon as I turned the camera around. But again, for less than 200 bucks for 200 watts worth of solar, uh, that work in the shade. Now, just to kind of show you folks what these panels are touted for, uh, shade tolerance. So there's some panels just covered up, kind of simulating a shadow. And that's still outputting 132 watts, 130 watts. And I can guarantee you, if you put any kind of shade on another panel, you're going to drastically decrease by more than 20 watts. This was getting 160, we're getting 135, 131. So that's why these panels are so good in my opinion is that they can tolerate shade better than any other portable solar panel that I have. So gang, right now, get it while it's getting good. 98 bucks a piece. I don't make any money off of these. I'm not an affiliate, but the price is right on these panels. If you can get them for less than hundred bucks, it is a score, hook them up together, get more than hundred watts. I think it's a good deal. So gang, I'm gonna wrap up this really quick video, but we'll see you soon. Take care.